Hello and welcome back to another video. This problem, we're given the expression a b squared plus 4a squared plus 6a squared b squared, and this is minus negative a b squared plus 2a squared b squared plus 4a squared. So, simplifying this expression, we want to get rid of the parentheses. For our first set of parentheses, we don't have a coefficient in front of it, we don't have a negative sign in front of it, so you can just drop the parentheses and leave all these terms as they are. So this is a b squared plus 4a squared plus 6a squared b squared. You can think of this as having a coefficient of 1, and you're just distributing the 1, but it doesn't actually change anything because multiplying by 1 doesn't change the value of anything, right? 3 times 1 is still 3. Here we have a minus sign, so this is sort of a negative 1, so you have to distribute the negative, and it's going to change the sign of all of these. So um, negative, negative a b squared becomes positive a b squared, negative 2a squared b squared, and then negative 4a squared. So now we can just combine like terms. So we have a b squared and a b squared. So those become 2a b squared. Just cross them off to make sure we've gotten them. Then we have 4a squared minus 4a squared is 0a squared. So we can just we would have a plus zero, but that's not going to change the value of anything, so we don't have to write it. Then last we have we have six a squared b squared minus two a squared b squared, which is going to be plus four a squared b squared. So two a b squared plus four a squared b squared is going to be d, and that's going to be your final answer. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and we'll see you in the next video.